You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by. I do appreciate it. I'm excited. Excited for one to show you this. Excited for two because it has taken me nine years. Yes, at least nine years to find this in the package. I saw this many, 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 many years ago, a long, long time ago. Added it to my eBay save searches. And there's a lot on eBay, by the way, out of the package. But I was curious what the packaging looked like, because I like to show items that are complete with the packaging so you get a real sense of what it was like way back when. Now, looking at the packaging now, it says, try me in the upper left corner, press buttons for karate action. Uh, it does not work because uh, the batteries are so old. And then it says, battle it out. Just like on the show. So now, this is the Spongebob versus Sandy Cheeks Karate Choppers. Based on episode number 14. And then it says, see back for details, ages 4 and up. Now look at that packaging. It's kind of beat up. It looks like it's seen better days. Uh, but it's the first one I've seen in 9 years in the package. So I would consider this an extremely rare item. All right, so let's see. Episode facts, episode number 14, Karate Choppers. Can SpongeBob resist squaring off against his favorite squirrel, even at the risk of losing his beloved job at the Krusty Krab? Or is there another way to chop himself out of this pickle? All right, that's exciting. Test your episode knowledge. All right, here we go. We're testing your knowledge. What do Sandy and SpongeBob do to get their minds off of karate? I don't know, but the answers are down there. I'm not going to say it. All right, at the top now, it says SpongeBob and Sandy are squaring off for some rockin' sockin' action. Just like on their show. Press the levers to start the fightin'. Whoever pops their opponent's head up first is the winner. Tons of wacky phrases and silly sound effects. And if you lose, it's no prob. Just press the head down and chop again. And then we see there's two kids fighting in the middle. It says, oh, tartar sauce. And nice try, SpongeBob. Scaredy pants. Press heads to, press down heads to play again. All right, all right, somewhere. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's a, definitely a nice box, the way it's cut around the edges. I almost coughed there. And then this full plastic insert. Let's just look at the bottom. I kind of need to see. Okay, so three batteries, it looks like, down here. Uh, double A's, it looks like. Yeah, three double A's. And then the year 2005. So... It's uh, got some age to it. And then it's a cool scene in the background here. So how am I going to get this out? I'm going to have to be very careful. I want to save as much of the packaging as possible. I'm thinking I will just do what I normally do and cut around the plastic. But I want to see underneath. So let me get into the box here. Okay, so I'm going to definitely restore this back to this original originality. As original as possible. Original. Yeah, I'm going to make it original. My guess is that there's something holding it in on the bottom. Let's just see. Bear with me. It might take me a little time to get this right. Okay, so that does not look like it comes apart there. Ooh, here's some tape here. Years. Years of searching. Okay, so that's there. All right, so that's not... Ooh, okay. Ooh, there's more tape on this side. Now, I'm going to have to kind of split this video up and get an opponent at some point, so... Okay, yeah, it is all twist tied underneath. And believe it or not, these videos help me later on when I'm trying to restore this back. Okay, I need one of my longer tools. I'm gonna take my time on this, so if, if you're not used to long extended videos, I do apologize, but it's a process for me to get through this.
And then I was saying, yes, I use these, I use the video later to, to try to put things back the way I, I originally found them. There we go. Ah, see everything that's in there? So this will help me solve my problem to restore it. Now, you can tell if it's a lefty or a righty. Who twisted these? Definitely not a machine. Oh, and they looped it through. Oh no, they didn't. Just there we go. Okay. So you gotta pull that it's really tight. I'm always curious. Whose hands and who took the time to actually put all these in? Okay, that's just kind of like a, it's there to support, it's a support piece. I know. Skip ahead if this is not what you're into. Although that hurts me and it hurts the channel and it hurts everything I do. Get the other things apart. Actually, you know what? I think I could leave. Yes. So I'll leave that there. And I'll leave that there. So I know where those go. And then I'll do the same thing to this one. Let me bring the camera up a little higher so you can see more of what I'm doing here. Okay. To me, it's it's a real, it's a craft to be able to restore things back. All right, so that's out. Now it looks like there's a slot there. Yes, this plastic is folded in. I'm not too concerned about what's underneath here. But this will help take the plastic cover off. All right. And there's a big plastic piece here. Oh, it's this whole thing. It's okay. This I'll retape and there's no way of avoiding this part of it. All right, got a tab here. as it is. Alright, so I can get that, that. Now this will have to be cut, so here we go. This I will do partially off camera because I want to use a very sharp item. You'll hear it. doing is I use this as not the tool I'm using but I'll cut right across this so that I can put this back together and retape it. Actually this one might work. I don't know if it's sharp enough. We're so close. Well, 
Okay, so I'll be able to get that all back in and make it look like it was never opened. Oh, by the way, let's look at that cool backdrop. That's pretty neat. So it's a scene. I don't know. Is it a scene from episode 14? There's hamburgers. Uh, an anchor here. The bridge. And a whole field of hamburgers, which looks very tasty. It's actually making me hungry right now. All right, that's that. Now, the issue, and I'm going to say it's an issue, is that once I take these out... I'll never be able to get those back in because they go through. You'd have to take the whole thing apart. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to temporarily leave them. Let's see if they get in my way. If they get in my way... Right, let's see now. All right, batteries. Let me get the triple A, some fresh batteries. Let's get this open. Hopefully they're not destroyed on the inside and I will... Show you more. Okay. I'm excited to hear it. I'm also concerned about the batteries. All right, you probably want to get a closer look at that as I'm looking in there. I hate to leave those bands on there, and I would have to take it apart to put them back in, but well, we'll see. So we in for a work, a process to clean it. Okay, not bad. Three fresh batteries. Tested. Now, if this doesn't work, then I'm going to be really, really sad. Oh, boy. Why don't you want to go in? It's such a tiny... Maybe it's at the wrong angle. Design. Huh? Okay. The either it's not lining up or this is an issue. Maybe this is causing it. That little plastic insert piece. Let's see if I can hold it. There we go. That might make a difference. That might have been stopping it from gripping. There we go. Okay, so I see off here, on here. Oh, are we gonna hear anything? Okay, not yet. Now whoever twist tied these in here was really qualified. I'm actually gonna grab a tool. We have no sound, so I'm a little concerned. All right, now this kind of loops around here, around her here, and then around her head. All right. I'm gonna have to take those bottom ones off. I'm still not here anything. the batteries are on. Okay. I'm going to check them one more time. These uh, snub nose were borrowed for someone's art project and it ended up not cleaning them off. 
Those two, which I'll leave off to the side. All right. I don't think I'm going to be able to keep these. They're just annoying me. Oh boy, look. There's no way of fishing these back through that I've found. They're hard enough to get out. for the bottom. I have no problem taking it completely apart to get them back in. I'm going to double check the batteries. Yeah, on, off. Let me just flick it a few times. the little I don't know yet if I don't hear anything oh wait okay that's not the first time I've put those in wrong so I'll just Taking my, oh, I see what the issue is, I think. This particular terminal here is all rusted. Ah. All right. Well, let me just see. Sometimes it's kind of... It's a cool sound. Now, sometimes just doing that. And then twisting the battery. You can see the, the rust on my tabletop. Alright, this battery doesn't look right. I tested it, but I don't like the look of that one. Consistency. I'm going to get you now, Sponge Brain. <laughs> All right, that made my whole boy 2024. What are you, chicken? I found some great stuff on sale. This toy has appeared for the first time. I do want to wipe off my tabletop. Let me clean up. Let me get all the tools out of here. I'm just happy we got here. Thanks to everyone who has... I didn't come here to dance. Let's play! Who's held out to actually see me get through that process. I wonder if I should actually show you me putting it all back to where you saw it originally. Now, that might be interesting for the video. I mentioned it before that I would do that, but I never really did it that I can remember. All right, I'll be back after I clean up. All right, so while, without an opponent, I can't really, you know, have the rock'em sock'em effect that I want, but let's just take a quick look around now. So SpongeBob, well, he stands about four inches tall. And then Sandy stands about the same height. She has yellow boxing gloves on, he has red. I'm just not sure yet where the... I almost feel like it's this here. There's like a little lever here or something. I'm not sure, her head is not... Popped up. Not trash, SpongeBob, scary pants. Okay, so his is right I'm hotter than the hickory on okay. his front. Hers. Okay. Ooh. Ah, in your dreams. Meh. <laughs> Victory is mine. So basically, hitting her in the belly ah, and hitting him in the belly. Dreams. Okay. Not trash. 
Well, let's just see if I can... Let me move her close. Turn her this way, and then this way. There we go, okay. Let's do this this way now. <laughs> I'm hotter than hickory smoke sausage. Is that what she said? Well, let's do a side view. Sorry. Okay, she didn't come here to dance. Let me just get this stuff in because it's not really a full play, but you can see when the punch comes in. Okay. Now the ring is blue. And then there's these brown ring posts. And then the yellow rope. There's two two pieces going around. Hers is definitely harder to pop. Let's try them right handed. Yeah, definitely. You gotta hit that one just right. This is easy. You gotta be just the right distance. If you're too close, it hits underneath, so kind of right there. A little more back. That's the spot. Now, where's the sweet spot here? So, down lower. Let's see. I thought it was right there. Okay. Let me turn this around and go this way. So if we put her this way, we're going to get his right hand has to be, let's see, we got to turn her. He's got to get there. All right. I'm not feeling it. I'm hitting right here. Alright, maybe it just needs to loosen up a little. Okay, I'm not gonna stop. I like the sound, so we're kind of here. He pops up real easy. See? I'm hitting right on the spot, but it seems... In your dreams. It seems real easy there. She almost isn't turned enough. Oh. Maybe I gotta move him closer and her back. Oh, okay. So the distance, maybe. He's too far back. He's got to be further up. Look, I hit her in the head. We don't want to hit her in the head. Oh. 
beauty pants. I was trying to get her, and he popped his top off. Come on, I'm just getting warmed up. Stop in Wait. your dreams. Okay, so it has to be here. Victory is mine. It just seems a little harder to do. This one? I'm hotter than a hickory smoke sausage. Nice spring action. This one? I don't think it's broken. I just think that's the way it is. Victory is mine. Let me just do it a few times. Victory is mine. In your dreams. Victory is mine. Maybe it's gonna take a little. Oh, I barely even. Let's push her up. This is funny. Oh, totter dog. Oh, hi -ya. Okay, so it's almost like you have to push it. All right, I think you've heard a lot of the sounds. Now I need to find an opponent, so. What are you, chicken? What are you, chicken? Oh. Because maybe when you're doing both and you're kind of, and you can push it back and forth. So if you're way back, it's really hard. Now if he's up just a little, and then she's in the right spot. Oh, now that's harder. Okay. There's no science to it, so let's just uh, let me get an opponent in here, and we'll do a couple rounds. I think I'll I think I'll beat Sandy though. <laughs> no, that wouldn't be fair. Uh, I can't wait to fight. All right, this is going to be fun. I'll be back. All right, I am back. I happened to find Audrey walking by and thought she would be a good opponent. Now, somehow, she ended up with Sandy, and I'm not sure how. You sure you want to be Sandy and not SpongeBob? He is, the, you know, the main character. You know, I'm pretty sure I prefer Sandy, okay. yeah. Okay. All right, well, uh, are you ready then? How do you, what do you want to play? Let's play the three... Okay. Head knocks. It's called rock. You okay. know what a rock'em sock'em is? Rock robots. Sock rock'em sock'em robots. Do you remember those? You, you give me refresh my memory. Okay, they're robots. One's red. One is blue. They're set up the exact same way as this, uh, and then they're in a ring, and it's kind of the same setup where you have to punch and knock their block off. I do remember. It was an intense game. Okay. Well, I have three other rock'em sock'ems, by the way, which I have not shown on video because I was waiting to show this one. So now this one's done. I can actually. Get to the other ones. Are you ready? I'm ready. Now we've added some stuff down here to keep it so that we can slide on the table, and then uh, uh, you know you're gonna have to move it, right? You understand? You got to go forward, backward. I'm ready. Turn. I'm a worthy opponent. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here we go. All right. And you say, uh, "Let's." Are you ready to rumble? I'm ready. And fight. I'm hotter than a hickory. Yeah, I popped it. You're hotter I'm than hickory ready. smoked sausage. Ready to pick them Pretty accurate. <laughs> okay, and, and well, you say fight. And fight. Catch, SpongeBob, beardy pants. Okay, I'll admit it's a little easier to get SpongeBob. I know. This <laughs> for me. Okay, ready, ready and set, and rumble. I'm hotter than hickory smoked sausage. We could switch sides if you want. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Maybe it's just the, 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 the user. Let's try it, SpongeBob. Airy pants. There you go. Oh, yeah, I got it. Victory you. is mine. How, how did you do that? Oh, wow. we got each other. In your dream. Boy, oh, you're really lifting the whole thing up. Wait, <laughs> it's now on two to two. How did you beat me again? Well, you know, skill. I've been practicing. All right, one more time. I didn't come here to dance. Let's Say I... And fight. <laughs> I didn't even do dream. anything. In your dream. All right, I'm not going to wait for you now. I'm just going to stay back. I'm just going to stay back. There we go. I think I found the trick. Don't move, Sandy. All right, let's try that one more time. Now you, right, we're gonna I play. I fair and square. Yeah, you beat me both times. It doesn't matter who, you still beat me. 
Are you ready? Yeah, okay, you have to listen to what they're saying, too. Like, oh. What? I can't believe it. Scaredy pants. I know because I can't seem to beat you. Alright, I give up. That was fun. Oh yeah, I'm sure it was very fun. Alright, well there you go. That is uh, the SpongeBob uh, Rock'em Sock'em. Well, it's not really called Rock'em Sock'em. It's called, or I gotta look at the box. I forgot, it's been a while. Karate Choppers. Mm -hmm. Alright, so there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. We had fun making it. Thanks for playing, Anj. You're welcome. Thanks for listening. I don't even have to do anything and I lose. Later. Bye. What are you? All right, so I don't know how long that was, but it didn't take very long. And then I decided to, instead of taking apart, I put the ties to this outside here on each. That wasn't the exact way it was originally, but I thought that would be easier. I could do a little more taping, but I think overall it's pretty solid and back together. Now, I would never sell this as not used because it has been open and I would make that clear if I ever do. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that part of the video. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up.